<coughs> Warframe. You're a bit loud when you start up. <coughs> Alright. Ah, fucking intro. I'm Katana. The Lightning Cart. YouTube and possibly even your favorite idiot. And I wholeheartedly, honestly, and openly give everyone permission to call me a fucking idiot. Yeah, and just not any other derogative terms. That should severely fuck with YouTube's algorithm! Allowing everyone in the comments to call me a fucking idiot. <sighs> and as soon as the skit's finished loading through the... Uh, what, four or five load screens? <laughs> D, there has to be a better way. <laughs> Seriously. I'll be proceeding to a series of unfortunate playtesting events. Unfortunately, I will not be joined by fuck I forgot his name Jim Carrey that just remembered I will not be joined by Jim Carrey or a sexy pancake hold on Field of view used to go up to over a hundred and something. <laughs> Color blind filter strength. That tooltip that just repeats the word dynamic resolution does not help at all. Ah, Pro invaded me. GPU particles disabled for performance. Depth of field motion blur distortions. Bloom. I'm still unsure about Bloom. Weapon elemental effects disabled for performance. Hold on. Let me get pro dude in the party here. Pro, can you hear me? I'm doing a bit of playtesting. I'm starting with um, these little floaty dudes, Sentinel companions. Yeah, I suspect that in one update they were heavily nerfed and they need to be heavily buffed. <laughs> it's 
since I'm, I'm going to do some screwing around with it. Okay, first I'm going to take off repair kit because I want to see if my aura that uh, rejuvenation affects my companions. Repair kit goes off. Um, Metiray. Regen just revives it when it gets killed. Your Trinity and Ember Prime. Nice. Oh yeah, everyone, including D.E. Steve, you fucking moron. Take note, this is not a simulacrum video. Do you want to join me in this testing? Alright, well, we can do both at the same time. It would just be a little bit slower. <laughs> it would also provide a bit more information than just one single old me testing. Um, for right now, um, I... I put on my rejuvenation and I took my uh, self healing things and my um, my support healing things off of my companion. I'm testing the effect of my uh, frames aura mod that does uh, healing for allies to see if it affects my companions. Before I even attempt to get started, I should take note of some things. Team health regenerates plus three per second and 15% of that. I'm gonna have to calculate. So take 15, divide it by 100, then multiply that by 15. So 2.25 plus 3 is 5.25. So I'm just going to round that down to 5. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and jump into this first test. So I should be seeing 5 health regen when my sentinel takes damage. You go ahead and take your time. I've jumped into a survival. It's going to be at least five minutes. Saren? Uh, are you on a Saren Prime? That uh, fucking map nuke build that people use is still viable, even in Steel Path, I think. 
I haven't tested it in stillbath. Okay, I'm not gonna use desecrate start for this. Did she say fuck your father? Hey, they're not attacking the sentinel yet. I'll just wait for a gas cloud. I know that, that it would cause aggro to my sentinel to equip the uh, precept that makes it attack. I'll do that later. Hey, pro. Uh, what's your uh, inbound chat volume at? Is it at max? Okay, I'm, I'm getting. I'm getting. Um, it's not totally feedback, but it's feedback and your background noise. Very much better, thank you. Send out a gasser or an exploding bastard on me already. Explosion. I didn't get any AOE effect. Eyes open. There's last resonance in your neighborhood. Okay, that one did that time. Where are they coming Maybe it's from? It's just the last one. Who did this to them? Okay. And I'm seeing roughly five regen a second with just my aura and the uh, strength and effectiveness mod on it. Seems when those explodey guys blow up extremely closer behind me, it actually does damage to the Sentinel's shield and health. They have to be incredibly close. The blast radius is incredibly small. It's like 0.2 meters. Gas cloud helps a lot, though. Actually, it appears 
Yeah, I'm not getting the full uh, 5.25 out of the uh, combined uh, Aura and uh, Exilus mod. I'm getting significantly less than that, actually. If you need it. I'm getting significantly less uh, regen than the combined two mod cards should be giving. By about 1.5 a second. I think I still have my Saren Prime set up with a uh, AoE map nuke build. If you want me to look at it for you. Alrighty, give me just a second. Mine's got strength, duration, and uh, range. I just said fuck efficiency on it. Uh, let's see. I didn't catch that one at all. It got um, chopped up by some sort of latency. Okay, um, you want me to rattle off my mods I've got equipped? When I pull up the chat window, it still interacts with whatever other menu that I'm already in. It's highly annoying.
Hold up. <laughs> now I don't have to send you a blank message just so that I can link it to you in that chat box. Did you get it? You don't have an auger reach <coughs> or an auger message. How do you not have a rejuvenation? Hold on, let me look up where it drops. R E G E. Rejuvenation. Oh, you have to get that from Nightwave. Oh, dude. Yeah, I can take a break from testing and help you get Atlas. I actually managed to, after I got the appropriate mod cards and set up my uh, art gun specifically for the purpose, I actually managed to get uh, Atlas solo. And previously it was a pain in the ass. I suspect they actually did nerf Atlas appropriately. So now he's he's doable. It's not a severe fucking grindy pain in the goddamn ass anymore. Uh, I said I suspect that they did an appropriate uh, nerf to Atlas... Uh, the, not Atlas, the Jordis Golem, because it's not a severely grindy pain in the ass to fight anymore. Next Prime. Okay, have you got your arc uh, weapons sussed out? Um, hey, I'm st I'm working on a second set of all the normal frames minus Zaku because that's the newest one. I haven't even worked on it yet. I've already subsumed two frames. Maniacs, yeah, those Grenier Maniacs. You ready for this Jordis Golem farming? Yeah, slash damage. It's like a major stat stick. That'll get you through the infested jackasses. <coughs> and then for your arc uh, weapons... I don't remember what the Jordis Golem's weaknesses are, but I just set my mod configuration up and forgot about it. Now you can ready check when you are ready. Pro, I've been, I've been tossing an idea back and forth in my mind, trying to view it from multiple angles, and so far, 
the only angle that makes sense is from a developer programmer's perspective on you know what impact it has on the game's code file size and the CPU clocking speeds this idea I've been kicking around is quite simply um, not taking the uh, large amount of mods in the game out but consolidating them into something far more simple than it is right now which is to say uh, for a good example all of these stat element mods you know we've got a set for pistols a set for shotguns a set for fucking assault rifles a set for melee a set for arc melee and arc weapons that are completely separate as well have you been using that them? is a lot to keep track of as a player and as the game's program goes. That is not a My idea was just to make two sets. Like one for guns. melee that you goes for all them. melee weapons and one for uh, projectile weapons that goes for all projectile weapons. Consolidates it, makes it easier to program, makes it um, lighter and more efficient on the game's code. And as a player, it makes it far easier to keep track of. And it makes room, a lot more room, for uh, a lot of extra mods. And even the Prime versions of the 6060 stat element mods. Which would give people... It would give people a lot more... Uh, I don't know what to call it. Uh, D wants to say uh, diverse builds. It would make a lot of lesser powered weapons more viable and more powerful later on in, in mid game and late game. And for the already powerful weapons, it would just boost their ability to do damage. He's dead, Dave. Please, they did. You have no idea what I am. Join us. There, I had to actually move up and trigger the cutscene. I'd love to be able to skip this cutscene, especially since we're farm grinding. to inform you this is just the beginning um if you're on odonata or the prime version your energy shell does uh, damage for you Okay, he's dead. Game scrub. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm pretty convinced they nerfed this golem appropriately. This is 
This is tolerable. Yeah, I know, right? Dude, before... Before I suspected they nerfed it, it would have taken me, even with a squad of four, it would have taken us like 15, 20 minutes to do that mission. Um, I'm using two Prismas and a Prime Odonata. Yeah, the Prismas are basically the Prime equivalent for the uh, faction they're from. Red crits, okay. What's your um what's your critical multiplier at? You're getting red crits on a status build? Fuck yeah. I can feel it wake. Hybrid all the way. And when D finally gets around to implementing uh doubling and or tripling our uh mod capacities and slot capacities We'll be able to put even more diverse and more powerful builds on, which are sorely needed in a lot of cases. It'll take everyone out of doing extreme meta builds. Ah, I could jump up from that. Why is there a soft reset boundary down there? You came for the parts, just like the others. Greedy scavengers. You do not care about Georges. There's a bunch of places in this game where you can literally bullet jump up from it without bullet jump mods and climb up from it. Feel that? And those soft He's reset coming. boundaries, yeah, they, they need to be um, touched up on. Like D, take a break from producing extra content just to fix some base level quality of life things. Sorry I'm late to the party. Oh, I slid off his back. Jordis, please stop you talking. No idea what I am. Let us get on with this. Ortis, the whole integrity already has failed. I don't know why you're calling it out now. I used to be such a nice cephalon. I regret to inform you. This is just the beginning. Uh, Jordis, don't glitch out on us. Basically, it's a matter of luck. Like, there's very specific relics that comes in, and I don't remember what they are. Okay. He's nipped off at the bud, eh? Assassination 
contract. Great work. I made a couple of videos talking about turning the loot distribution into something more dynamic instead of just random. Especially since there's a mod card that's not even really worth a damn thing called Coolant Leak that has a not .1% Wait, wait, it was not 0.01% drop rate. I'm a firm believer that your mastery rank should increase drop rate by either 1% per mastery rank or you know to make it easier on the code every five mastery ranks increase it by five percent um economies are a fallacy this was proven historically multiple times you remember the stories of the ancient roman and greek empire right Now just nip his ear. You don't, you don't have to bite his head off. You just nip him in the ear, mate. It's an assertion of alpha dominance in the world of animals. Since humans are mammals, they are animals. How did you manage that with a puppy? <clears throat> yeah, but how did you manage trained with a puppy? That's notoriously difficult. The Furliad part. Is that it? At this point, I'm inclined to believe you on that one. Hey, there's a piece of candy back here. I mean, we may be farming the golem, but we can definitely get this piece of candy. And it's an amber star, too. Definitely worth it. But it's nice to have backups in case you want to socket them and sell them. I see what you're doing. I'll wait for you to go get it. Just like the others, greedy scavengers. You do not care about Georges. You're not that far away from me. Feel that the gun is coming. Hey, bastard, don't be down. And he's dead. Wonderful. Nice kill. I told you not to come. Please, safety. What? You have no idea what I am. Join Your cripple us. kid? <laughs> you cannot stop this. Let us see. Little visual glitch there, eh? I've noticed several glitches with titanium. This is just the beauty. Uh, one of those glitches included, uh, you know, when you go into, like, a portal village, um, my, um, my sentinel had the, uh, prime regen. I died. It took forever to res, because, you know, they, there's some bugs there as well. And my sentinel was permanently dead, but it's, 
showed in his health that he was revived and he was with immunity. Most of these bugs are errors in code, where the game's code lines get confused, basically. That's the simplest way of putting it. And it thinks something's happening that's not happening. Specifically with Titania's fourth ability, active. We will quiet them too. Thank you. Gone quiet. Assassination contract complete. Great work, Tenno. <coughs> okay, um, now that I've thought about the market for a minute, the the, the market thingy, it's it's borked anyway. I've seen people charging literally millions for something. For example, this this one Riven that this dude was selling. You know, taking into account Riven disposition, it was at one out of five, and it wasn't even a good roll anyway. This dude was charging a million just for the simple truth that he or she re-rolled it like 90 to 100 times. Yeah, I get it. You're trying to get Platinum to get some fucking uh, Kuva back, but if you're investing that many rerolls, just keep the damn thing. You're not going to sell it for a million. Not even the YouTubers who make continuous content are going to buy a Riven for a million fucking Platinum. Two to one thousand. Yeah. And if if we had it to where, you know, once you hit Master Rank 20 and there was a bracket there where each level of Master Rank it increased your ribbon disposition so that you're continuously and consistently getting the most out of that ribbon, to veteran players, it might be worth more. That supports anyone's argument for, oh, it'll destabilize the market. No, it wouldn't. Market's based on people's greed and fear of missing out, so it wouldn't the do shit to the market. The market fear, would always fear, rebalance wake, itself. Find it. The Furliath pot. Is that it? I really thought you would have more. Have you been using them? Yeah, and then then there's there's market trolls who just that is they post absurd you. fucking prices just just, like just for the sake of posting the an absurd I fucking price. And I highly suspect... Go ahead. I see what you're doing. You came for the parts, just like the others. Greedy scavengers. You do not oh. care about joys. It's an amber one again. Fuck yeah. Right here at it. Might as well, right? And then the... Yeah, there's there's kids trolling like that. Who think it's worth more than it really is. And then there's people who... You know, just legitimately sell the, the prime frames for... The equivalent of uh, platinum in the price you actually pay for it when you buy it. It's like 80 fucking dollars or more in uh, fucking prison credits. No, no sense in calling them freedom credits because this country ain't fucking free. Yeah, 80 dollars... Eighty dollars in in platinum is you know, a couple thousand, actually. So there's there's people selling it prime frames, and the the price fluctuation on prime frames disproves market equitability or, or fairness. It disproves that 
just compulsively. I'm a Cephalon. I serve my... I am their voice. This is just the beginning. Using an Imperator Vandal. I don't remember where or how I got it. What, the one I'm using? I did not know that. I tried to solo the uh, profit taker. Didn't go well. <laughs> Why do you defile us? Thank you, eh. Wanna set aside a time and date for that? Target down. Assassination contract complete. Uh, I think you can get that from Cephalon Samaris if you have enough standing for them. Yeah, there's a bunch of different frames. You can just straight up buy the parts and the uh, blueprints straight from Samaris. You want to go and take a look at that before we proceed? <clears throat> All right. Prime. Let me check. Mirage. No, I do not. I've got a a Mesa Prime chassis. fucking wisp. I went through killing the rape wally nearly 20 times and the, the drop rate's supposed to be like above 30%. That's bullshit. It, it dropped at 30% you'd, you'd expect it to statistically drop in 1 in 3 runs. That's that's fitting with 30% drop rate. Well, technically, it's a total of 33.3 overdash, but that's besides the point. The point is, it didn't drop but once in, like, 20 fucking times for a piece for Wisp. I wound up... Okay. I wound up walking out of that mission with enough of those amalgam mods to fund an entire goddamn clan. Uh, you wanted to check Samaris, uh, or did you want to continue farming? I know. <laughs> I know Oh yeah, Wook Dong Prime. <laughs> I 
And one thing I've noticed with uh, a lot of the YouTubers I've been watching, just vast majority of them, out of the, the very small few of like 10 that I watch, I'd say roughly 80% of them will say a bad weapon is good just so that DE doesn't nerf the actual good one. Now this is a huge problem. This shows how disconnected DE is, and or Microsoft, from the player base. And it shows how dishonest people are having to be just to keep the industry honest. This also proves how corporate America manufactures crime. Uh, which ones is it that uh, you were uh, hoping he had? These can make you an even stronger hunter. Do not disappoint me, hunter. Okay. There's Gara and all of. Uh... Right, there's Gara. There's Limbo. Yeah. Uh, Chroma, uh, his parts. There's Mirage parts, Harrow blueprint, uh, Inaros blueprint, Inaros parts, Titania, Nidus. Um, when you buy them, they're not going to be maxed. But he's selling those just in case, you know, people deleted them. Or if some, somebody wants to buy extras. Like they added that in. That's nice that you can actually get more of them. They added that in. Uh, Knowledge is the path to the single And he's selling Shidu, Zorus, the Azima Zenith. The Sigma and Octantis. And for me, I went down to the miscellaneous tab all the way at the bottom. Andy's selling the Imperator, the Veritux, Broken Scepter. He's selling the Odonata. He's selling a decent good bit of things. Although, yeah, I would like it if he would sell Atlas's parts as well as uh, every frame that he's got here for sale. I'd love it if they'd, if they'd sell the whole set instead of just, you know, the parts or just the frame's blueprint. Because some of them are just... I don't want to grind and farm for them. Like, there's other stuff in this game I want to do, and there are other games I want to play. Not to mention, the uh, DE drove off their, um, <laughs> like, half of their YouTubers who were doing stuff, you know? They drove off half of them. Okay. I don't know. Samaris likes to get in your face. Everybody's face. I'm going back to the ship. And... Then... You're going to start your atlas to crafting and then... Um, join me in this testing bit. Okay. Uh, write down a list if you like.
loading times are getting worse with each update because they're not fixing everything. Like if Microsoft is the one forcing DE to just mindlessly pump out shit, I mean, take a break, Microsoft. Just take a fucking break. Okay. Hey, I don't mind going after that before we do the uh, testing bit. Alright, I'll wait. I got plenty of time. Hey, DE Microsoft, I may have plenty, infinite time, but I'm not going to spend it all in one game. Dude, fuck yeah, which one? PS2, does that mean you get spawn? You know who I'm talking about, right? I believe so. And then they brought him into Mortal Kombat. That's nice. However, in the, the newest Mortal Kombat, I think a lot of people are still waiting to s see when they will bring um, Cyrax out. Got a secure Electa? A secure Electa. It's um, a faction specific whip that you get from the Perrin sequence. I don't nearly have enough standing to get one for you. Ooh, that's another thing, mate. It would be so much better if once you reach a certain mastery rank or the, if there was a sixth standing uh, thing to reach with the factions that made it to where you know they support you even though you choose to ally with other factions and they don't decrease your standing and then the standing cap disappears for all the factions not just the six that you can go to on the orbiter Um, I believe so. Yeah. I did tell you why I left, didn't I? Yeah, no active members. I didn't count you and me as active members. <laughs> I never count myself in that equation. I wouldn't blame you. Be careful who you invite. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about just in general. Be careful who you invite. Even in the clan I'm in, there's some straight up fucking retards. I I watched in chat one day as this one guy just severely went on a rampage. Like an archer esque style rampage of the verbal variety and wound up getting booted.
And then there's the people who think clan chat is uh, basically region chat in a <laughs> in a uh, a more contained environment where you can get more dumb shit said with less uh, kickbot activity. And then there's the assholes who use clan chat specifically to sell shit at absorbently high prices just because people in trade chat tell them, fuck off, I'm not buying that for that price. And they, they intentionally hijack the prices up higher just to get what they want out of it with the uh, clan discount. You want an invite into the clan. I'm highly against um, clan hopping back and forth and whatnot, but... Yeah, they've... They've got a uh, mastery rank requirement and a uh, 7 to 11 day inactive kick thing. I, I don't think that fits with your playstyle. <laughs> I've seen you offline for like a, a month or two at a time. Ah. Like, you just want to join? Yeah. Um, I believe they've got like 99.9 .9 to 100% of the researches. Yeah, they've got all those. I just gotta wait and see if um, any of the, the admins or whatever are on. <coughs> wait, what mastery rank are you? Fifteen. Uh, yeah. Cryotic? Holy shit! Uh, this guy doesn't know if there's any uh, clan admins or mods on. Shit. <laughs>
What do you mean I'm in a fair range? Hold on. He says, and to be honest, you're probably in a fair range with that 100 through 150. I don't even know what that means. Oh, he's talking to someone else about the range. And nobody knows if any uh, clan admins or mods are on. Well, that sucks. It, now it's the waiting game. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 Wednesday, and it's only 8:45 a.m. right now. Okay, uh, you wanted to go and farm that blueprint for Atlas from the Jordis Golem? Yeah. Okay, well... My proposal is let's go farm the Golem again and then do uh, another test bit with the... Um, Yeah, that's what I was testing, but let's go ahead and get your Jordis Golem piece. Just get that out of the way. It, it would get tedious and mind-numbing later on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'd like you to assist me in the testing, if you don't mind. And the only thing I'm going to ask you to do is to, uh, two things, because it's a compound request, uh, equip a rejuvenation and do your best to stay within range of me and I'll stay within range of you as much as possible. I'll check and see if I have a spare to give you. I don't even have a Loki Prime right now, and I can just walk through those. The column's stirring. I don't it blame you there, here. mate. I can feel it wake. Find it. I'm actually right with you. That swagalicious gold on it, you know. Is that it? Hey, here's another star, and it more. fell through the fucking map. Using them? God damn it, De! What the fuck, dude? Burden. You are just like all the others. You won't kill the golem. I can want you to. There's another way to say that. That's so gay. I'm not even gonna bother trying to pick it up. Like maybe Mag's greedy pool would work Multiple on it, but I'm not even gonna bother with it. What'd they try and sell it to you for?
Considering uh, $80 worth of uh, prime access is equivalent to roughly that amount of platinum, platinum, I'd say that's fair market value, but to be honest, markets and economies are a fucking phallic joke. I see what you're doing. You came for the parts, just like the others. Greedy scavengers. You do not care about Georges. Ah. At least you get some platinum with it. Feel that? The golem. He's coming. Get into position. Wakey, wakey. He's in the air, and I'm just hammering him. He's dead I now. Not to come. Can I just Please press this button here? Did. No, there's no button to press. I just want us to get in space quicker. You're staining that wall with something nasty, man. It's a nice intro to this space area, to be sure, but I just don't want to watch it a billion times. I regret to inform you. This is just the beginning. Yeah, he did the same thing to me. Jordan, stop putting your ass through the scenery. We killed you already. Thank you, operator. It's almost as uh, annoying as um, four when he comes in the um, uh, the fucking void. Corrupted four is just a bitch, man. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> you one-shot him, I slash him like two or three times, he's dead. He, now that we're properly modded and, and, you know, we've earned the power we have, we one-shot this laughable halfling. Yeah, it requires a bit of effort. <laughs> yeah, no joke, it requires a bit of effort. Fucking stalker. Anyway, corrupted vor. He takes his time yammering on about his butt plug, saying, oh, it's a glorious thing. I'm like, dude, it's in your chest. Shut the fuck up. You don't even have it where it's supposed to be. <laughs> That's nasty. It's probably got some sort of growth inside of it. You might want to check it for the infestation. <laughs> I don't think it would rust, as rust would require it to be made of iron instead of the golden shiny the metal it's made of. It knows you are here. I can feel it wake. Find it. 
the Furliac pots. Yeah, considering they're all clones, all their money goes to their clone research, which is why Till Rigor is a fucking bitch to fight. That is not enough for him. You are just like all the others. You won't kill the golem. I don't want you to. Which reminds me, unnecessary boss and vulnerability phases. Did you feed him chili? I see what you're doing. You came for the part, <laughs> just like the others, greedy scavengers. You do not yeah, care no about joke. George's. Fucking certain kinds of animal parts are just the worst. Even when you feed them properly so that they don't get gas, it, it can be pretty fucking nasty. Feel that? The you didn't feed him any pizza, did you? Really? Why not? Oh. Is it a single part of it that you don't care for, or is it just the idea in general? I told you not to come. Ah. Please think. My problem with cheese is that sometimes certain places will add way too much cheese, and there be barely a, barely a whiff of sauce. Like I want to taste the sauce as well. Mm. Embrace us. We are your flesh. I don't remember what all goes into the bolognese. This is just the beginning. Okay. What all's in the bolognese sauce? Is it the white creamy sauce? He's dead. Ah. I didn't know that uh, you guys over there in, in England and Britain. Yeah. Called it bolognese. There are so many more. Thought spaghetti it originated in Italy. No. Keep fighting. Ah. Wait, what did Italy do before the uh, the red sauce? Ugh, Alfredo. I'm not partial to Alfredo. You said fettuccine, it instantly reminded me of Alfredo sauce. <laughs> like, over here, in this shithole of a country that's currently enduring its death throes, <laughs> fettuccine is routinely and abhorrently paired with Alfredo sauce. I mean, fettuccine's a fucking noodle. Stop exclusively a, a, a pairing it with Alfredo. Fucking di diversify, for fuck's sake. Afredo. Yeah. Afredo sauce. That. <laughs> That's highly confusing to me. <laughs> but only for a brief moment. Just truck out, mate. We'll get this last what you should what you could jigger off of uh asshole here and do about five minutes of testing and, and then then I'll let you off the hook. The column's stirring. It knows you are here. I can feel it wake. Oh, what kind of toast? The Furniac pod. Is that it? 
I really thought you would have more. Have you been using them? That that reminds me of um what what's what's those fellows? Is, uh, is it Australia where you they do marmite on toast? Others. You won't kill the golem. I don't want you to. I use marmite uh, when I'm cooking a soup. You came for the parts, just like the others. Greedy scavengers. You do not care about Georges. Yes, it does add an extra kick to the flavor. But I, I just can't do marmite by itself. Feel that? The golem. He's coming. Like when I first tasted it, I was like, God, it tastes like fermented and spoiled blood mixed with extra iron. Hey, get back here. We're not done killing you yet. I told you not to They're leaving a dust cloud on the wall. What is that weapon? Looks like the broken scepter. Ah, the Toxicist or the Pox or something? No, not, not one of those. I don't remember the name of it. Fuck. <laughs> not for me. It only shows you stuff you have with it. I've seen him glitch completely out of the map to where you can't even reach him. The assassination target is here. Okay. Well, I backed off, hoping he'll unglitch. Why did you mark him? Up on the D-pad to mark a location. Okay, he's dead. What are you doing way over there? Seeing how far you can go before it ends. Hold on, I'll check the um, the lying wiki to see uh, its drop rate. One of the chassis and ear optics and systems, they're all above 20%. Yeah, chassis and ear optics are at 38.72%. And systems is at 22.56. Now where's the blueprint? Blueprint. Ah, lesion. I 
Hey, did I tell you my theory uh, for Red Dwarf about uh, Legion? Blueprint. Yeah, there there needs to be a lot more prime mods. Having prime gone. Having a um This doesn't tell me his blueprints drop, Ray. The column still is fucking useless. It knows you are here. I can feel it wake. Find it. The Furliac pods. Is that it? I really thought you would have more. Um have you been <coughs> them? Yeah, there's a um there's that a specific for quest him. for it. You were just the like the somewhere. You won't kill the golem. I don't know. And to be honest, it should drop from the Jordis Golem. Like just this regular mission, Jordis Golem. We shouldn't have to activate the quest just to get the frame or its parts. Ooh. Piece of candy. Feel that? The golem. He's coming. Uh, yeah, so back on my train of thought about Prime mods, there should be a bunch more. Like, there's so many baseline things that need to have better versions, including Prime versions. Please, they did. My argument for that was, you, no you know, let us have the power fantasy, take it out on a date, fondle it and molest it, you know? Just let us have that. I don't believe I have a specific build for it. I used to be such a nice cephalon. This is just the beginning. Increasing his health at that speed qualifies to be called as literal melting. Oh, my weapon was doing uh, 1,800 and something with my uh, energy shell active. Without it, it does like uh, 1,500 and something. Start it just to get the blueprint. Oh, I don't mind helping you with the quest. Hey, you can't possibly smell me all the way in the United Kingdom if it's still a thing. You can't possibly smell me that far away.
Well, is he sitting in your lap with his butt directly towards you? Have you watched a YouTuber uh, by the channel name of Sergeant Ducky? Yeah, he has the same problem with animals pointing their ass directly towards him. I thought it was the precept. If you haven't done it, go ahead and set it active. We'll get that out of the way. Hopefully you'll get the fucking blueprint out of it. Yeah. Fairly act pods. Yeah, I'll go ahead and put that on if I don't already have it. Come on, tabs. Load in. Whee. I need to get some more Clem clones. <laughs> okay, there's the Fairlac pods, <coughs> and there's the potent Fairlac pods. Two hundred and ninety-nine regular Fairlac pods. I don't even use them. It took its time loading you in. A juggernaut nearby? The attack when it senses high concentration. Fuck the juggernaut. Pissed him off. That did it. Here comes the juggernaut. I see that. How the hell did that happen? Dangerous, but beautiful. I can almost taste that. But the golem needs something more potent. Yeah, he's going with past like a fucking rocket out of hell. He's dead now. spawning in a bit more. We kind of want to kill you and get through this already. Ooh, pustrels. Them. 
Probably because he went down. Okay, we can bugger off. Really? I never bothered. I didn't know that. Elder Scrolls Online or one of the... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ready for the next one. I shouldn't take too long. Come to think of it, potent fairly act pods. What's that going to be? Miscellaneous? I have 102 blueprints for fairly act pods. I've got the I need all my <laughs> Eight hours to make potent fairly act pods? God damn, that needs to be shortened. Massively so. Yeah, yeah hang on, I'll, I'll load it up. We'll just go over to the void and beat the living fuck out of uh, Corrupted Vor and get the uh, toxic status mod along with it. Might as well multitask in this situation, yeah. I agree with you. Is that Green Day? Kill all the fags that don't agree! <laughs> yeah, Holiday. Keep the busy while a fellow tunnel operative raids the ship for Come to think of it, that might actually happen. Trigger the alarm. They have just shut down systems. I'm sending life support capsules your way.
can't creep up like idiots and wipe you all out all at once. Doesn't what stop you from desecrating them? Uh, when a certain damage type procs and disintegrates the corpse, it does, but you're know, just generally blowing them up. Doesn't really stop me from desecrating. Yeah, if the radiation proc uh, destroys them, then it, it dis disintegrates the force. Not sure if that works with regular fire proc. Good on Gallium and Ferrite for the <laughs> Unless the resource sink, known as the Hellman, decides to, you know, just be a fucking prick. Saw one fellow's YouTube video on it. And then all the fucking comments. I found an Argon Crystal right here. All the fucking comments were just violently defensive of the choice, even though it's not supposed to do what it's doing. They completely ignored that the helmet system wasn't refreshing what the, the fucking thing likes and dislikes. It was just continuously, you know, stuck in the negative. Where uh, it cost more and more and more each time to uh, rank up on it. Another uh, crystal, yeah. And then another one right there. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I don't mind it being a resource sink, but when it literally takes millions of a resource, just literally millions, and his, his liking for a resource doesn't refresh at all, like what was being shown. Thanks. It shows up for everybody, uh when it drops that particular uh, the Iotan stars. The one thing that if you found you would have to mark it is the actual Iotan treasures, the sculptures. Those don't show up on the map for everybody. They don't have a dedicated waypoint. So anyway, that... Okay. That that video was talking about how it the the helmet didn't have its like and dislikes refreshed and how it just continuously costed more and more. And every comment that I saw was ignoring that, just violently being a fucking stupid, ignorant, dumbass fanboy bitch. Pretending with normalcy bias that DE did nothing wrong, when clearly the evidence shows contrary. When you are ready, go to extraction. I'm slowly making my way around in here and uh, clearing out that uplifting thing, that, that updraft thing, it, it slows down my bullet jump. That's just fucking annoying. 
Like, I can bullet jump straight up here. I don't need that thing slowing down my momentum and inertia. Oh shit, 18%. Hold on, I'll go and hit a thing. If I can get to it in time. Yeah, there's, there's not an Iantan treasure in there. Unless we go to Maru and activate that special mission type. Hey, Corrupted Mori, would you mind showing up now? I've seen him come in as uh, quickly as two minutes. It seems random, but the more I play, the more I suspect it may be tied to how many Grenier type of enemies you kill. An argon crystal right here. No worries. Yeah, that and I'm still trying to get Kua Link out of those uh, orc and drones. It's a fucking shit show. Yeah. I see. Something happened. It was probably that bombard that screwed you over. up the fight and he showed up. My brothers, did I not tell of this day? Did I not prophesize this moment? Or in his messiah complex, plus his anus key. It just doesn't mix, does it? He'll show up in about three, four seconds more. Oh, there he is. Stand still so I can mark you. And then fuck you up. And he's dead. And just because I can be a toxic bitch to him, even though I went down, teabag looting shit out of him. Picked up one right there. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm thoroughly convinced 
with all the uh, things I've noticed that they've implemented EA's patented player stress event system. And you know, once a bunch of people found that out, like, for, for some reason, I actually knew several years ago they did that. I just, even if I say how I knew, nobody's going to believe it. Even if I explain it in depth of how it works at the subatomic level, nobody's going to believe it because of their bullshit normalcy bias. But, uh, what, last year or two ago... Uh, Upper Echelon Gamers, that YouTuber, he uh, posted it on one of his videos. And, you know, even though it was on an April Fool's video, well, not an April Fool's video, even though it was on April 1st, it was not an April Fool's video. It was legitimately, you know, he's, he's so pissed at the industry for doing dumb shit that they know they're not supposed to do, that he goes, you know, fuck it. I'm gonna show everyone this shit you've done. Fuck you, fuck your company. EA's track record, man. Now the whole industry is acting like EA. And then there was that bit with Torolf Yernstrom. Little fucker just needs to be crucified. Publicly. It needs to be globally, publicly televised without restrictions. Some people just need to be publicly executed for their bullshit. Not some, a lot. And that number keeps growing. The people just don't stop doing dumb shit. How many Argon Crystals do you need? I'll pick up one right here. Where's the fucking Argon Crystals, man? I went attempting to farm for Coolant Leak. I came out with uh, 115 or 120 some odd fucking Argon Crystals. Yeah, why the fuck make make the drop rate increase when you don't need them so much because they fucking disappear? Just because one little two-year-old whines about, Oh, Hogan Crystals are so hard to get. It doesn't mean that they need to increase the drop rate. It just means that that little fuckwit needs to learn to play the damn game. A Necros and a fucking resource booster. Don't be a stingy bitch. Put some fucking effort into the game. What? Aren't you one of the fellows that I know who routinely buys? Loads of fucking platinum and trades for loads of fucking platinum. Okay. That makes sense. I remember when fucking bombards were difficult for me. Look what our tenno operative just found. We gotta get you an adaptation. <coughs> yeah. How the fuck are you going down with an adaptation? Okay, uh, health conversion. That's the next Okay, health conversion you can buy from Samaris. Okay, are you, are you ready to bugger off from this one? So I can go until they hit level 100 plus. Yeah, you're ready to bugger off. <laughs> Give me a second. 
Oh, shit. Is your necro surprised? How the fuck are you going down, mate? Oh, mine's got a five form. Right, okay, when we get back to orbiters, uh, link your Necros mod configuration so I can take a look. Because I'm curious now how fast you went down. Yeah, I got it as I went by. I got vacuum on. And quite honestly, I don't need any Argon Crystals. I got eight. <laughs> how many did you get? Four? Oh. That means my resource doubler has ran out already. Yeah, we don't need more drop rate on these things. And Vor gave us malignant force. Toxin on fucking... I don't remember which weapon. Ah, rifle. Okay, um... Yeah, yeah. Mod configuration, Necros. Give me a moment, I'll link mine. Okay, your Necros. Yeah, your Adaptation. Uh, rage is alright. There's no point in having an Umbral mod on unless you have all three. Uh, Gladiator Resolve. Okay, you've got Despoil. So the increase of health, yeah, that that works. Prime flow, no, nah, you don't need that. Not if you're gonna go for just desecration. Corrosive projection, yeah, I need to swap you over a, a, a fucking uh, re rejuvenation so you can throw that on. <coughs> Power drift, dude. You can you can take that off. Uh, strength and whatnot has no effect on desecrate's loot drop chance. Arcane Avenger. Okay, you're doing that for your critical build. Arcane Guardian. Yeah, you might need to get that maxed out. And then your Exilus. You, if you unlock your Exilus, you can move uh, Aura Strength and Effectiveness. I think it's Coaction Drift into that Exilus slot. But... I don't even have... Like, here, I'm going to link mine to you. You're probably going to flip out over this one. Okay, take a look at the way I've got mine set up. You could replace Rage with Hunter Adrenaline or put them both on. Vigorous Swap is just for extra damage. Shield of Shadows, yeah. Arcane Arachne, yeah. <laughs> hey, good news, I have a spare rejuvenation. <laughs> hey, let's go to a, a place, I'll trade it over to you.
nope. It's making me leave because I'm squad leader for the in-game squad and, and I invited you. No worries. It's not your fault. You don't need to apologize for it. It's DE's uh, responsibility for the coding. Oh, I remember this song. You're just a fucking hypocrite. Sounds like, what, Five Finger Death Punch? Me and a fellow I used to go to the gym with and work out, oh, several years ago, we'd listen to stuff like that while we were pumping up. <laughs> Alright, I'm in the dojo! Stop being lubricated guy fucker. I mean Luke Skywalker and trade with me, you cheeky cunt. Ten million. Um credit booster. <laughs> <coughs> Fucking trade tax. Are you sure you want to trade that over? I think I've got a few. You can just give me one of those bronze ones. <coughs> I. Don't, don't trade me over one of the gold ones. Just throw up one of those uh, cheap bronze ones that you have like a hundred of. It'd be nice if I could use the in-game mailing system to just straight up send people gifts. No. Suffocation. No breathing. <laughs> Okay. What's that? Ah. <sighs> that would take um, some time to show me all of that. Oh! Come to think of it, it'd be nice if we could build an area to just display, um, fucking copies of our frames. <laughs> Complete with an interactive menu to view the builds and whatnot. Yeah, even without putting them in different poses, it'd be nice to just have a display so that you can... It's like, a mark of my accomplishment. Look at all I possess! <laughs> I haven't kept track of it. <laughs> I really haven't. <laughs> There's a lot in this game that I just keep track of. <laughs> Those are weapons. That's a little bit redundant. Okay, now, if you don't mind, slap on the rejuvenation. Um, let me check and see which uh, fucking Exilus. 
it actually is that increases the effectiveness of rejuvenation. Come on, load in. Yeah, coaction drift. If do you have a coaction drift? I'll see if I have a spare. Excellent. Uh, coaction drift. Yeah, I've got a spare. Yeah, just tab over to the Axilis, and it, it's fairly close to the beginning of the thing. Okay. Yeah, that one and Rejuvenation, if you can max them both out, that'll be nice. Ah. Yeah, that's going to take you like a day to craft. <laughs> I mean, speaking of the crafting system, we have to collect the resources and dump them into a 3D printer in space. Why should we have to pay our 3D printer to fucking function? Plus the wait time. I mean, if we have to fucking pay credits and the resources, we should get it instantly. I mean, there's three things going on there that are counterintuitive and counterproductive. The wait time, the resource dump, and the credit dump. And honestly, more mastery rank you get, the wait times for these crafting things should just decrease to the point where it disappears at a certain mastery rank anyway. And because we have to collect the resources, we shouldn't have to pay our fucking space printer to fucking function. Oh. Uh. Are you able to slap those on and max them out? Okay. Uh, so we should be getting 10 health regen. 10.5 to be honest in all the numbers. But I'm rounding it down to 10. Hunter Adrenaline. Hold on. Wrong fucking thing. Mine's up to 45%. Yeah, mine's up to 45%. Yeah, if you could do Hunter Adrenaline plus Rage, that would give you a total of... Uh, an estimated total, not an actual total, of 95% conversion. And that and my carrier prime is still doesn't have its uh, health regening stuff on it. But do you have Mediray? I got a spare I could give you after this test. That and repair kit. Medi Ray with a dash between them. Okay, do you have a repair kit? I can actually throw my Medi Ray back on. It's gonna help, 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 help keep me alive. And a repair kit. A repair kit is supposed to do a six heal rate per second when it's maxed out. I'll throw that on for the next test, but for this one, I'm I'm testing the combined strength of 
both of our aura mods and their um, increase from their um, fucking Exilus mods. Then the next one I'll throw repair kit on. I've got my my companion set up just strictly for support because there's not enough mod spaces or capacity for me to make it into a combat and support. They nerfed uh, status and critical chances on uh, companion weapons. It's really annoying that they nerfed that. Okay, with this setup, we should see a minimum of 10 health regen on ourselves and our companions per second. Polymer bundles. I think that Grenier give you polymer bundles, or is it the fucking Corpo? Corpo? Let's see. Uh... There's a Corpus Survival, level 30 to 40, Palace. Want to give that one a go and see if we can get poly bundles out of them? Yeah. And no, it's not a dark sector. Speaking of dark sectors, I would love for faction specific dark sectors instead of it being mostly the infested. Like, um, on, on Pluto, it, it'd be nice if Palace were a dark sector where it was corpus and not infested. Or they could just add another node that's, that's a dark sector. Hey, do you, did I tell you about the, uh, the, the Heart of Deimos update moving the, um, Orc and Derelict and it becoming the, uh, Deimos area? And my biggest concern was, where the fuck is the vault gonna be? Where are we gonna use the keys? Yeah, I'm still uncertain about that. Life support has been cut off. I'm trying to choke you out. Hold on. I'm sending auxiliary support. Right, Molly. <laughs> that thing's fucking annoying. Mostly because of the unskippable cutscenes. Like, I don't mind the boss fight itself, but all these unskippable cutscenes are bullshit. This isn't The Legend of Zelda. I don't get a fucking title card in front of the Rape Wally like it is The Legend of Zelda boss. Why the fuck does it have an unskippable cutscene? I'm getting some field grind samples, loads of health out of Desecrate. Apparently they moved the bias on Desecrate to just help them energy and ammo. Most of the time that is. Haven't noticed any poly bundles yet. Ah, we have to go up someone's anus to get polymer bundles. Are they using them as a butt dildo? <laughs> Think they learned a lesson from Corrupted Vor with anal fetish.
Wait, isn't there a way to actually get to the normal stalker even after you progress through the storyline and whatnot? Me either. I saw some plastic draw. Whoa! Bouncy grenade! Whee! You know, considering the Corpus are greedy, uh, fucking jackasses, they should drop more credits than any other faction. And, quite honestly, I think there should be a set bracket per enemy level of credit drop and resource drop. Got rejuvenation and coaction drift next style and equip, right? Hold still. Hold still for a second, right here. Okay, yeah, it's definitely had an effect. I can definitely see that the health regen on my companion is being affected by your rejuvenation mod along with mine. Just not as much as I was hoping it would be. Okay, as soon as it hits five minutes, we'll just book it to the exit and go to Arachnos. Or as Burnsworth calls it, your rectum. Which I didn't see how that stopped the anus jokes, it just literally named it to the scientific notation for someone's butt. Technically, it would be the hole. Yeah. Directly between the cheeks. That just primes it for a Preparation H Dr. Evil joke. <laughs> you primed it. <laughs> Someone's butthole has been primed. <laughs> oh dear shit, no. That even fits into lore frame jokes. Prime this, prime that. Kind of like those old War of Warcraft jokes. Where you kill the one guy, you rip his head off, and then you proudly proclaim that he gave you head. Or those anal jokes. Where people would say anal in chat, and then link a uh, name of a quest or something to it. If you included your audio in this screaming stream, I should let everyone know. <laughs> he listens to music while he plays the game. You yeah, haven't included because of the copyrighted, okay. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for the kindness. Because definitely corporate America is not going to be kind. But you bunch of greedy fucking cunts they are. Okay. You needed the coaction drift. I can definitely trade one over to you. Yeah. 
Give me just a moment. That should get five and six is eleven on my end. That should be a total of sixteen once we both have our stuff uh, equipped. He's off to never, never land. Yeah, when they finally do give us uh, more mod slots and capacity to use, not only will we be able to do those diverse builds they want to see, but we'll be able to do more powerful builds as well. I considered... Yeah. Variety helps with diversity. <laughs> Who would have thought that that logic applies to this game? Show of comments, anyone? So, uh, I'll be able to do a theoretical build with a roar on Titania. It says, uh, Titania's, um, her, um, her second and her first work well, even by themselves. It's just the only one that I could think of to replace would be her third one. It says the first one... Don't rush your shower, mate. Yeah, but don't rush it. I got plenty of time, don't rush it. Okay. <clears throat> so with that, even if I go in without my buddy, I should see 11 regen on my companion per second. Sixteen, if he had his on max style and was with me. You must provide cover for a lone Set up. Yay, auto bridge! But you know, me just pressing two buttons is a lot faster. I think auto bridge should be a. Point seven five seconds faster. Come on, bring out the guys who are gonna give me damage. Bring out the gas cloud. Bring out the splody bits. Keep the infested disruptors to yourselves. Speaking of infested disruptors and, and energy generation. It's bad enough that they can hit you and drain all your energy instantly. They don't need to simply drain your energy at like a hundred per second just because they exist and prevent you from increasing your energy regen altogether. That's just fucking bullshit. Even on the still path.
Mm-hmm. Proc the extra armor, it seems. What? Why did you all explode? Yes, everyone, group up. I will slash you all at once. Exploders! Come on. Do damage. Yeah, they did some damage. Yeah, that... Exploders and gassers, come on out. Hey, gassy boy. Hit me. I want you to do it. Hit me! One sec. Okay. Yeah, that's finally doing what it should be doing. With all three of those health regions mine equipped. Technically two, plus more strength. Do the increase that it says it does without having medic hit thingy, whatever it was, equipped. Come on, droney boy, mutilus osprey, gas me, you little bastard. Okay. It's still, uh, roughly two health per second behind what it should be, but it's alright. Still needs a, a fix to its, uh, health per second region. Sentinel procking heal on me. Imagine getting primed versions of that. Fuck yeah. Barrow needs new inventory. New primed versions of things. Stop just mindlessly pumping out content and revamp some of the stuff that needs revamping. Like the mechanics! This is... This is a percentage behind what it should be with the health regen.
I just gotta wait for Pro to get back. Quite honest, I have no idea if any other YouTuber who covers content of Warframe has done this test. I have no idea. However, I would offer to give permission to use footage captured f from my uh, video here for other YouTubers to do comparisons. Compare mine to your own so that we get a decent pool of um, test results. Yeah, why not? Go ahead. Do side-by-side -side comparison with footage. Oh, by the way, this is the job of playtesting, which, you know... The whole industry is pawned off with early access and alpha claiming that it's in early release for various games just to get playtesting data from the players without paying them. It's exploitation. It's illegal. It's involuntarily enslaving. Just a little legal truth for everybody out there. Yet the industry does this. Can't wait. Just, you know, actually I can wait for the class action lawsuit behind that one. It's a special class of felony. And no, you can't hide behind the public test servers and say that it's compensation. No. You can't say early access perks are compensation. And updating that in the terms of service for all these beta and early access shit all that's going to do is confirm that you know what you're doing is wrong. And you shouldn't have been doing it to for fucking begin with. And it's going to piss off a lot of people. Wait, what can I do while I'm waiting? Still not done yet. Yeah, I can wait, but load a bit faster.
fucking cool purge. When is Plague Star coming back out? Interception. Nope, don't want to do that. This is Bort. It's been Bort for the last three or five updates. Let's scroll over. That one's good. That one's good. That one's extra large. Apparently, there's a coding error for when I switch over to try and get the forward manifestation. It just switches over to the fucking Razorback and Fomorian. trying to scroll over it and it just doesn't want to fucking do correctly. And then try to scroll down it just fucking glitches out. This is just another reason, another proof that D needs to stop putting out new content and fix the old. Neptune for manifestation. Neptune, Neptune. For a mutilated salad five coordinated. Yeah, why not? Oh wait, wrong button. Invasion assassination. That's the one I wanted to punch. Personal previlection for seeing more of these mutilated salad five nav coordinates drop. I don't know if I've, if that would go over well with anyone else. One of our spy cells has been lost investigating this abandoned Grenier asteroid base. We need you to locate and eliminate whatever is responsible. Listen for its screams. This will mean you are getting close. It screams, you say. Does it scream for ice cream? And these cutscenes like that, turning my camera angle where I don't want to turn, that needs to be fixed. Wait, did you drop something else over here? Meanwhile, President Nixon is still impersonating a lobster while claiming not to be a crook.
Yeah, drop rate for everything should go up at least 1% with every mastery rank. Literally everything. We need to find the VIP and take with no nerfs to loot frames. DE Microsoft. This place is crawling with infested. Unfortunately, something far more ominous awaits. Make your way deeper into the base. Listen for its screams. This will mean you're getting close. Hey, welcome back. I'm fucking around with the forehead manifestation just to get the salad five nav coordinated. Did you need to get next parts? <laughs> you want to go after the salad five parts? The flavored stale Ugh. How long ago did you open them? No, oh, wait, what? Just one coordinate? It used to be three. It needs to go back up to three to be honest. Stop doing that. Tell me where I need to go, not where I've already been. Search the area. Leave no survivors. This place is crawling with infested. Fortunately, something far more ominous awaits. Make your way deeper into the base. Who else is with me? Some of those lips need to be removed. Why don't you point this way and then point... Fuck off, waypoint! The creature is incredibly agile for a deformed quadruped. Keep moving to avoid being crushed. Thank you. 
Assassination contract complete. Great work, Tenno. I like the old post screen uh, UI better than this. This is just way too convoluted. Bumpering and tabbing around. Just adds more processes to the CPU and the game's code and files. It's just absurd. It's clutter. It's making the loading times worse than they should be. Hey, mate, you're back yet? Where did I get you? No, yeah, I don't remember. That was the Fomorian. don't want to work. Fuck off. A few bits more and the Fomorian will be up.
Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Miter, I think I've got enough to make three of those. Okay, let me see how many I've got. Or we could just go beat up the bosses that drop it. <laughs> Receiver. I've got the barrel, chassis, handle, and blade. There is no receiver. Handle? I've got one of those. Yeah, you can have it. Do you have a Gorgon Wraith? I could give you a whole set of that. Yeah. So the regular Gorgon is a, a crit build, right? Then the Prisma version is an even better version of that, and the Gorgon Wraith is status. Would you like one, too? Miter Handle and Gorgon Wraith. Got ya. Okay, let's go to... <laughs> it, yeah, it's fun to fuck around with. <laughs> that and its paint job is a bit different. Um, load your dojo up and... Uh... We'll trade over. I... Let's see if, um... Let's see if it brings you with me. I have no idea if anyone in the in this clan has any prevalections against me bringing anyone in just for a trade. I have no idea. I wasn't told not to do it. No one says anything about it. So I'm just guessing, you know what, fuck it, do it anyway. Yeah, good point. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Fucking domestic drones. Fucking space Roombas. Fucking hundreds of platinum for one of them. Fucking pathetic. Items. Weapons. Companions. Arcanes. Lenses, keys, resources, prime parts, treasures, blueprints, uh, Gorgon Wraith. I'll check after this trade. Neo Neo 
Neo M1. Yeah, I've got some Neo M1s. Okay. Let's see. Gorgon Wraith. Do you have any of the Gorgon Wraith parts? Gorgon Wraith parts. Do you have any of them? Okay. That and you needed the miter handle. Miter, miter, miter. Fucking wolf sledge parts. Is the miter not tradable? Uh, I'll help you. <sighs> oh well. Did you want some of those uh, Neo M1s? Okay, I think that's all the parts for it. <laughs> it didn't show me any others. It'd be nice if when you're the squad leader and you left a place that you could take your whole squad with you. Like, optionally, just to leave, go off on your own or take everyone with you. Or have everyone opt in for it. To leave as a squad. I didn't know it would kick you from the dojo. Well, for the testing that I've done, thanks for helping me with it. <clears throat> as far as all the testing for that uh, bit on the companion healing, I'm done testing it. For now, anyway. I've already... Uh, I've already calculated that it's going to be couple of points behind even even with uh, extra people running the, the same stuff so I'm gonna stop my stream recording and there's there's links in the description of all the videos I have on YouTube for throwing money my way so I can get drunk and do dumb shit